legendary icon, Hall of Famer. Hello, you're watching the Luna Show. Welcome to the Luna Show. Hello, legendary mother. You're overall East Coast mother now. The house of Ebony? Yes, I am. So, what is that like to be East Coast mother up and down the United States? What's that for you? Well, um, this is freshly new. It just happened yesterday for the house of Ebony. It's nothing new being an East Coast mother because I was an East Coast mother in the house of uh, Herrera. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, actually. Mm -hmm. So what, it, what consists of being an East Coast mother? Like, what do East Coast mothers do compared to overall mothers, chapter mothers? Well, basically, you check on the East Coast. You make sure that all of the mothers are basically doing their jobs. Um, if they need any assistance on anything or whatever the case may be, um, if you have the ability to help them, you do so. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you collectively get together and sort out ideas, you mm -hmm. know, and make it happen for the house. That's hot. So tell me about your ballroom history because I know you've been in it for a good while now. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been in it forever in a day. I've been out <laughs> since 1991. Mm -hmm. I started walking balls in 1992. Mm -hmm. And, um... My first house was the House of Aphrodite. I thought my first house was going to be um, the House of Essence because um, Taifa really brought me out, Taifa Icon. Mm -hmm. And um, he was in the House of Essence at that time. And I think my first um, coming out was uh, Vamps. Remember Vamps on, on, on Barrett Street? Mm -hmm. And um, the Aphrodite was like, oh my God, you're so cute. You're so this, you're so that. That's when I had like a little S curl flat top with the collar going on and stuff like that. You know, I had my little structure, little uniform on. I think stuff. we all had that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, I gravitated to the house of Aphrodite. They were all pretty kitty, so I felt like mm -hmm. I fit right in. And then um, my next house was the house of Gautier. I believe that was 93 to 94, like mm -hmm. somewhere around that, that time. Um, and then in 95, I became uh, an Ebony. And so you've been with them since, except for maybe the I, Herrera I, stuff, yeah, but then yeah, you came yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, but I in a way, Herrera, it. wasn't it kind of sister to Ebony? It, it it was, but a lot of Ebony's came over because I was I was the mother of the house of the, um, Herrera at that present moment. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what kind of made it look like it was a sister-brother thing. Or okay. Yeah. All right. So in all of the, the years from 91, what what different categories because I know you're known for your fashions and your really beautiful high fashion stuff how you started I know that wasn't your first category was it that wasn't my first category mm -hmm. um, my first category was actually face mm -hmm. and runway at the same time like I was walking both of those at, at the same time and mm -hmm. then um, the fashion part came came along um, I think I took on the fashion segment after Eddie Ebony died Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah, like I'm, I'm, I'm taking his place. Like I gotta have his memory, like live on his legacy, live on. Right. So tell me about in comparison ballroom today compared to ballroom then. Because uh, we lived through the golden years of ballroom, which in my heart is the you know the 1990s. Mm -hmm. So how do you think it's changed and? Um, it's a lot of younger people walking. Back then it was like the elders, like they are the elders 